remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. He says, How be it? This kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. And I like that because the Lord is saying, If you just believe, do you know how small a grain of a mustard seed is? It's actually the smallest seed ever. Um, this is the smallest seed. The, uh, the mustard seed is. And if you just have the faith, the Lord said that much faith to believe that you're going to get out of this situation, that the Lord is going to turn it around, that yes, God is faithful, that your change is coming, that your promise is coming tomorrow, and that you will see your destiny in. I guarantee you, if you just hold on to that bit of faith to know that, yes, Lord, maybe it's not this situation that I was expecting. It was totally unexpected. It was a low blow. I wasn't expecting to lose my job. I went to college. I studied. I have a master's degree. And I wasn't expecting to be fired from this corporation. I've given them 20 years. So maybe that's the situation with you. But don't you know that God is faithful? He can open doors to give you another job. Amen. He will allow you. Maybe it won't be tomorrow. Maybe it won't be six months down the line. But in your future, there is a future. Amen. For you. So I want you to know that. Just to have a faith of a mustard seed. Just to believe that. And he says, you've got to speak it. So you've got to believe it. Amen. So you speak to that mountain. You speak to that situation. And you tell it to move out your life. And yes, the same thing keep happening over and over and over again. And you might say, why does this keep happening to me? Even if it's a situation of that nature. You've got to speak to that mountain. And you've got to say, you know what, mountain? I see you keep happening over and over again. But I'm speaking to you and I'm casting you into outer darkness right now. I call you into dry places in the name of Jesus. And I tell you to go hence from me right now. Amen. If you will only believe all things are possible. He said, how be it? This kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. So you're going to have to fast before God. You're going to have to pray before God. You're going to have to do some laboring and prayer before God. It might take that for this change to come to you. But at least know that the change is going to come if you be obedient to the will of God. Amen. Also, that's a beautiful note there. I like that. We'll go to 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7. For it says, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. We don't want to get caught up to not thinking that we're, we're in a situation where we're stuck. Remember, the Word of God says, we as saints are believers. We don't go by what we see. We go by the things that we don't see. We walk in the spiritual realm of God. Ha! I feel that in my spirit. We walk by the things that we cannot see. Do you understand me? We go by the spiritual realm, the power of God. So when somebody tell you that you can't make it, that you won't be prosperous, that you don't have it, you say, devil, you a lie because I got more. Amen. My stuff is stored up. My blessings are coming there on the way. I see the angels of God bringing them to me in heaven in baskets full. You got to speak to your situation and say, you know what? If it's a situation where your marriage is on the rocks and you're looking and saying it's like your wife, she's never going to act right. And it seems like you put so much into it and you say, God. If it be thy will, you bring it to pass. I'm believing that this marriage is going to turn around. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you let your will be done. I speak it into existence right now by the power of God, anointing of the Holy Ghost. And I guarantee you will see a change coming to your life. If you believe it, you say this business, 
it, it, this business. I tried this business and I tried that business and I tried this business and they all failed and nothing has been successful for me. But you know what? You keep speaking to that business and you say no matter what, yes, this business seemed like it never was going to be prosperous. I tried this adventure. I tried this outlet. I put money in this place and it wasn't successful. But my seed will not fall on nothing but good ground. You got to believe that the money that you've invested, that the time that you invested will surely pay off for you one day. Amen. Well, I think most times with us, we give up on our dreams because we get discouraged, because we get derailed, because we get sidetracked. As I talked about being derailed, we get derailed because we didn't see the fruits of our labor. We get derailed because Things didn't turn out quite the way that we expected it to. But if we continue to walk the path of faith, we will see prosperity come our way. Amen? Also want to go to you before we get ready to wrap up here. We're going to go to 1 Corinthians. Amen. I, I, I just think it's imperative that we really, amen, get a grip on what the Lord is saying for us because if we can do that and obtain, amen, the will of God and what the Lord is saying, we will genuinely make it through our tough times. So we want to go to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13 only. And it states, There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. I'll read that one more time because I think y'all need to hear that. There hath no temptation taken ye, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way of escape that ye may be able to bear it. So in the first passage of that part of that scripture, the Lord says, there has no temptation taken you as such is common to man. He's saying, these temptations are common unto man. There is nothing unseemly about the things that you're going through. Okay? But such as is common to man. Listen here. But God is faithful. That means God knows through the decades and the centuries and the generations God has seen man go through things, similar things over and over again. So this is nothing new that's upon the earth. Are you hearing me? The things that you're going through is nothing new. So God said he's seen this and he knows how to bring you out because he is faithful. Ain't that right, Deontay? It says, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able? He said, this temptation, he know that you're able to go through it. Because if you weren't able, amen, he wouldn't allow you to even go through this. So that means that the Lord knows exactly what you are faced with and what you are going through. He says, but will with the temptation also make a way of escape. So the Lord is saying, even though you're tempted, even though you're going through this, he is going to make a way of escape for you. Amen. Even though the traps that Satan has set up and all of his tactics, that all of his plots and his tricks, they are not going to succumb to you. They're not going to overtake you. The reason why is because God is faithful to allow a way of an escape for you. Amen. So, he says that ye may be able to bear it. So, he's not going to allow 
Did, haven't we heard the scripture that the Lord will not put too much on you that you're able to bear? Amen. God is faithful and he is worthy and he is trustworthy and God is great. Amen. So I'm getting ready to close out here. And before I close, I want to say this. Uh, I want to let you know, every week I'm talking to my faithful partners here um, that I am with you here every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also catch me on Blog Talk Radio. Right now I am airing on the radio at midnight and that's Friday and Saturday uh, Thursday and Saturday Thursday and Friday midnight amen just check those dates and times and you'll be able to be able to join in with me the local number that we have amen I want to be able to give you that as well to call in and talk to me on those nights at 347 Four two six three seven zero three. Amen. Again, that number is three four seven four two six three seven zero three. And I'm going to have my son to zoom in on me right here, so he can get it up and close and personal, so I can talk to you, my um, those of you that I'm speaking to, and. Uh, the camera as well uh, but I want to be able to talk to you I'm talking to both audiences here <laughs> uh, just to kind of get clarity with those of you that are looking at me on the webcam here those of you tuned in to TV. I appreciate you again you can check with me all means amen at blog talk radio Twitter and Facebook Amen. If you want to go to my fan page, if you want to write a post or you want to let me know how this program went, I greatly appreciate you. Amen. And for those of you that want to, again, you can tune in right here next week at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, I want to give a shout out to both of my sons for the great job that they've done here with the recording. And I thank God for my own personal studio. It's been a long time coming, but we are making progress here in the Royal Point Siena ministry. So, with that being said, I want to let you know, again, to tune in right here and to talk and meet with me next Sunday at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And those of you that said prophetess, I want to be there beforehand, meet with me Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night and talk with me on Blog Talk Radio. Again, this is your number one prophetess call to the nation for this generation. Prophetess Royal Poisiana Sprewell. Be blessed.